corn, obviously. We talk about corn for hours. We could, couldn't we? We're we talking about new metal another, loads in this in this in this episode, but like in this. Corn chat, is another but. band that I've, I'm not really a fan of, but I love the songs that they've done. That I yeah. like. So I loved that they actually branched out and did a, a, an album with Skrillex. Yeah, that, that was cool. It, and it was so um, on point with what was happening in that scene yeah. at the time. I mean, it new metal worked. was pretty much in that era anyway, and then Skrillex. Skrillex was in a pop punk band or hardcore band. He was in f- f- first to last. Well, and I think and if you if you look at like what, what how how new metal formed, it was like right, let's see what happens when we blend genres. So to then go right, well, let's just take what yeah, we've got and totally. blend it with something else. That works really well. We saw him a couple of years ago, and I was like, I know every record they're playing. This is an amazing show. They were yeah. so good. Yeah, yeah. The most famous genre blend ever was like Run DMC and Aerosmith. Absolutely. Like, so if they did it and it worked and they didn't think it would that was yeah, amazing absolutely um, but Korn yeah like they were one of the first bands or I think the first band as in a band not an instrument this, that used seven string guitars right so seven string guitars now aren't even really that heavy anymore it's more like eight and nine and there's even ten which is insane so what it adds it just adds enough. Oh, I've got an example for you here so this is a seven string guitar yeah so you can see there's an extra low string on the bottom. Yeah. Whereas most of the people were just down tuning the six strings. Right. So there's a guy called Steve Steve Vai, who's really famous, instrumentalist. So he's just like a solo project, but he's the most famous, probably most famous solo guitarist ever. Um, and he worked with a company called Ibanez, who I'm a massive fan of and I've got a few of their guitars. And he has his own signature guitar that was a seven string because he needed the extra range. So if you think like a piano, you can only go so far, but with a yeah. piano you can go really far, you can go down all the way to like A, zero, yeah, 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 yeah. super low. Uh, with a guitar you couldn't go that far and they weren't making strings really thick enough to down tune the guitar that you already had. So he and Ibanez collaborated and made um, a guitar called the Universe um, and it's just a seven string guitar. And then Korn then got those guitars and then played them even lower, so they tuned down again, um, like a whole step. So they were in a traditional D standard tuning, which is the whole step below E, but then with an extra low string on the end. Right. Um, and it was heavy as anything. It was probably the heaviest thing I'd ever heard yeah. at the age of 12. And if you see them live with, with like those big old speakers, then those those just hit your chest. And yeah, one thing that you can remember with Korn is uh, Fieldy's bass. I don't know if it's intentional, but it sounds horrible. It sounds. I always say it sounds like a bag of bones. It's all like because he plays like slap bass, yeah. but it's really low tune, so it just flops around. Yeah. Um, but they were for, for what they were doing in the era that they were doing it in is insane. And they actually have a music video with Aaron Paul in it from Breaking Bad. No way. Yeah. That's hilarious. And uh, it was like the first, one of the first things he was ever in. And I think the song's called Faultless by Corn. And they had they were definitely a, a big. Uh, I think it's either Thoughtless or Here to Stay, and those are probably two of the songs they put on the playlist as well. Um, they were one of the first bands that were doing that kind of angsty teen, I hate my parents music mm. that New Metal was kind of coined for, because they actually came out a lot earlier than bands like Linkin Park and Limp Bizkit, I think. Or yeah, I think Corn right. and Limp Bizkit came out around at the same time, but then Linkin Park. I think you're right. Linkin Park were actually like the babies, the babies of New Metal, but they were the, one of the most famous ones now. Yeah, night. Oh, Corn is 1993. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I, I was going to say I thought so, they were. I thought they were. Freak on a leash. Now, Freak on a leash has to go on the playlist. It's, That's the song. It's the record, isn't it? It's amazing. And the video is spectacular. Yeah. It goes from like animation and into that slow mo bullet going through it, everything. It's drawn by. Um, McFarlane, is it the guy who does Spawn and all those McFarlane toys? Oh, uh, right. I didn't know that. That's why it's so good. Right. Yeah, that's why it's so good. And one funny little fact is the reason why they are and their name is backwards is just because of Toys R Us. No way. As in, they just was like, that's cool, isn't it? <laughs> just <laughs> did it. Just did it. I think Slipknot did a similar thing as well. But um, yeah, Corn were definitely the first, like, angsty, I hate my parents band. And like I said, they had a song um, that is about him being kind of molested. I think it is molested uh, as a child. Um, because that's why the album's called Issues. Right. They're awesome. But again, I, I'm not a massive fan of them, but, but you ha- the songs like, that they've done, I yeah. love. Like, yeah, like, Thoughtless, Here to Stay, Freak on a Leash, Blind, like all those songs, Twist as well. Like, all those songs are just, like, so good. Um, and they did a cover of, um, and in the video, they're all dogs. Like, they're like chihuahuas. Oh, I, th- um, I recognise that. Oh, Word Up. Yeah, That's Word it, up. yeah, yeah. Bad, it's safe, that one. Yeah, Mel B did a cover of it as well, didn't she? That, their cover um, of that is brilliant, though, isn't it? It's, um, because yeah, it's... it just works. The song was by, who was it by? Um, uh... Oh, yeah, here it is. Cameo? Cameo, that's it. Yeah, Cameo. Fun yeah. fact, when I used to make, when I used to be a, a DJ, uh, like, when I was 17, I was called Cameo. 
<laughs> Brilliant. If I if I did that, I'd put it a K as well. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, they did a cover of that, and it was amazing. So yeah, you can put so many songs on there, but Absolutely. I think frequently yeah. has to be has to be the it's one. It's my favourite. <laughs>